The energy ministers of Russia and Ukraine are set to negotiate gas prices in Berlin on Friday. Supplies to Kiev have been shut off for over three months now, with its debt running up to more than $5 billion. And while energy ministers try to tackle the deadlock, Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian families are bracing themselves for what could become a very cold winter. As RTZ Igor Piskonov reports. For several months now, this young family in Ukraine has been living with constant disruptions to their hot water, and that's despite utility bills doubling. And now news that the gas may be turned off as well means the approaching winter could be a grim one. We have a kid and it's already difficult enough without hot water. We have to boil it ourselves using gas or electricity. In case of more disruptions, I don't know what we'll do. Moscow was forced to turn off gas supplies back in June after Kiev continuously refused to stump up its $5 billion debt for gas already consumed. Several rounds of negotiations failed to make a breakthrough and now ordinary Ukrainians are the ones having to pay. We never planned to buy a boiler, but now I'm forced to borrow money from my relatives to afford one. We're strengthening the doors and windows to help save the heat, but how's that going to help if it becomes really cold? Ukrainian officials are offering assurances there will be at least a limited supply of heat to private homes during winter. Although that could mean reducing or even cutting off completely supplies to the country's factories and businesses. So everyone across Ukraine has a stake in the Berlin talks, since both their homes and their work will be affected by the outcome. Igor Piskonov, RT.